Paul. Morning to you. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Uh, thanks very much for sparing us the time for a chat this morning. Uh, people are always interested to hear from you. Uh, I'm going to ask you, actually, because I love the song. Katie Alexander sends me a tweet saying, how does he come up with the lyrics for his songs? Has he always written poetry? Would he write a novel? Has he? Um, well, I don't come up with my lyrics just by... I, I don't everyday life, really, just wandering around... Um, and writing things down occasionally, and then I go away and refine them. But it's all pretty, I suppose it's quite boring stuff. But as far as poetry is concerned, yeah, sort of when I was a kid at school, ages, sort of from about the age of 12, I wrote things in my school books, which wasn't work, if you see what I mean, like little stupid poems about the teacher or stuff like that. And as for being an author, I did try to write a book, uh, and I I, it became too bizarre. So I right. <laughs> what sort of book was it? Was it a detective thriller, or what, what, what sort of? What were you trying to achieve, Paul? <laughs> you wouldn't believe what it was about. Go on then. <laughs> it, 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 no, I can't even tell you. It's All right. just too bizarre. All it's right. sort of to do with a bloke and a hamster <laughs> and <Right>. um, <laughs> his his landlady uh, discovering it was a guinea pig. It's a very complicated story. Right. It's okay. Quite funny. All you know, right. Quite, oh, oh. Quite will, daft. Will, Will it ever see the light of day? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. After I've just spoken to you about, it, I'm gonna go upstairs and burn it. It's, it's up there somewhere. I've decided. <laughs> Will it's it ever make a up. song? It may not make a book. Might it? Might it make a well, song? It's got sort of little chapters in it, which are quite interesting. You know, like yeah, um, chapters more of spoken word, though. Do you know what I mean? The, the story. So I can't construct a story. I, I, I didn't do well enough at English language at school. I think most authors have got a good grasp of. English language, and I've only got a basic one, so I'll keep it to songwriting um, for the rest of my life. And yeah, but I don't. See how I don't that does me. I, I, you've not done bad at it, to be fair. I mean, no. how, how did the austerity of love come about? I love the obesity of love, the propensity of love. How did that come about? What was the inspiration there? I think it was well, just that was the last bit of it, the chorus. I think just things. I, I wanted to talk about things that people do or feel when somebody else is in love. You know, like the bit about Old Brown Bear and Honey Bee, mm -hmm. Pass Me By and Wink at Me, or whatever it is. Um, just things that are, are sweet and sugary. And I suppose with things like that, with lyrics like that, I I, I don't know what comes into your head, but it does. It, it, it's, I do work quite hard at it. I go away to Holland still and just sit in a bar and try and work something out that makes sense to me and resonates with the public i don't know how you do it though it's it's a it's a weird thing i suppose practice helps but yeah. it's something i've done since as i said since i was sort of 12 and 13 i've come up with daft little ideas in my head yeah no no i understand it's best not to analyze the process too much is it in a way yeah, yeah. i've tried analyzing it and um i don't know i don't know what it, i don't know what it is what is it it's about bars thing. in holland though of which i'm a great fan um, well, I'm not talking about bars in Amsterdam. I right. don't go round there. Right. I, I go to bars in Alkmaar and Volendam and places like that. I, I go out of the way and go out on my bicycle and find a bar and sit in there for uh, a few hours. I was going to say days then. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's just, it's, uh, originally I went to Holland because I thought, well, nobody knows me there, but it's also equally easy enough to come home because I, I used to go from Hull, I used to go on the ferry. Yeah. And and come back on the ferry, and it was dead easy to get to it. Or I'd fly fly from Humberside Airport. But um, so it was just about an hour away on the plane and, and overnight on a ferry. And I just feel it wasn't too far away. Yes, um, it's a yeah, beautiful place. I, I love Dutch towns. There, there, there's something about beautiful. them. They yeah. do them really well. Uh, the new album is called Wisdom, Laughter, and Lines. When when's it out? Um, it will be out probably October the. Am I allowed to consult my calendar? Yeah, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're all real people here. I, no, sure I don't right. expect you to have all the information to hand. Uh, I don't know. When it comes out, I think <laughs> it's the 20th. <laughs> well, they come out on a, th on a Friday now. I think right, it comes out know. maybe the... Um, maybe the 23rd, I'd right. say, 23rd of October. So later this month. All right, OK. Are you, yeah. are you, you pleased with it? What a stupid question that is. I do apologise. You're no, not no, going to release an album that you're not pleased with, are you? Well, that's true, yeah. I'm obviously not displeased with it, but yeah. sometimes I've released stuff that I thought, I aren't going to listen to that again. But in general, uh, these days, I have enough time to get it right, so I should be pleased with it, you're right, and I am. Oh. Um, uh, you know, I wouldn't release it if it was anything... 
Okay. And, and, and you're out touring because you're coming to the Bass Hall in Scunny, uh, I think, November the 2nd. And then you're announcing, uh, you've announced a, a, a big tour 2016, a couple of nights in Hull. There was a young lad queuing as I passed the City Hall this morning uh, just before 8 o'clock. He was queuing to get tickets for you because they've gone on sale today. So he oh, was right. really excited. Just the one. Oh, no, yeah, there'll be more. No, Don't I, worry about it. I was a bit concerned when we announced Sunny Scunny yeah. that people in Hull, particularly my mates, would be like, why aren't you playing Hull? Uh, but. Um, I, I quickly announce the whole one for next year because I don't want people to think we're ignoring that as well. I've not been, to, I, you know, I don't think I've played a gig in Scunthorpe since I was working this out before for my diaries, August the 10th, 1986, is I think the last time I went there. Right. The free festival. Well, not the last time I went there, but the last time I played a gig there. You'll but get it whole, bouncing because the, the Bass Hall uh, dance floor is bouncy. It's a lovely venue. Yes. Yeah, and, and with the weight of our audience. <laughs> <laughs> we have our well, we're all a little bit um, wider, aren't we, these days? And I, I think with the band and the audience, we, we should definitely get it bouncing. I, I, I intend to get to my prize fighting size to make sure that happens. Right. Uh, and also, Hull City Hall will be great because um, we went there, uh, was it last year? Uh-huh. Um, and uh, yeah, the level of affection from people from Hull towards me and the band and Jackie is, is just great. It's, yeah, and it, 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 it'll be terrific. Uh, I think I'm coming to all of them. It's the, the obesity of love is 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 why it'll be bouncing. Uh, those of, of a certain age, it gets to you. Um, yeah, and, and it does. You, you can't resist the crisps, the sausage roll, and the Belgian or the Dutch lager. But that that's a, a, another story uh, in, entirely. What else are you up to? Are you just are you just chilling out? Are you doing a a, a lot um, of touring or uh, no? It's a short tour this year, but. We're hoping that, you know, if the album does well, that there'll be a lot of, you know, publicity, television and, and other radio and whatever. So you leave, you, you don't tend to fill the diary up with too many gigs just in case the album does well, which the, obviously the last one did do well. So apart from that, I'll, be, I'll just be pottering around at home, just like doing my usual, just mm. writing a couple of lyrics and then I'll go away in New Year and I'll start working on the next album. Uh, which sounds a bit weird, but I try and work on stuff. So I've got, as soon as I um, finish this album mm-hmm. pr- promotion, which will be probably probably October next year, I'll be ready to sort of start thinking about um, going away and writing the lyrics That's for the planning. next one. Oh, I'm so, impressed. Yeah. That's planning. That's very mature, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. See, oh, that is planning. I like that. I've, I've, I've got to say, you mentioned a diary there. Have, have you, do you keep a diary? Uh, I do at the moment, but I, several years went missing, <laughs> Did uh, and I don't mean I, I don't mean I lost the diaries. I mean the diaries weren't kept for several right. years. I'm talking twenty years, but I decided to restart recently, just because I don't know. It just feels like a good thing to do. I, I have no idea who they'd be. I don't. I, I often think when I've completed a year, who on earth is going to read that? And it's like a little reference for myself, you know. To Say where I've been and what I've done and and what have you. But people, but, uh, but people would be interested, wouldn't they? You, 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 yeah, you're, you're, people yeah. are interested in you. You're a fascinating character. People yeah, would well, want to know what you're doing and everything like that. Yeah, they would want to know some of it, but right. you know, some of it is very, very tedious. And uh, that's what I suppose. You, it's not the sort of diary. Yeah, I do mix. I, I, if I've got a lyrical idea, I write it in my diary as well. So maybe they'd be interested in seeing the. The very first um, acorn yeah. of a song, which you know, the, the very first seeds uh, for a song, because that's how it starts with just one little line. So, yeah, things like that in there, they might be interested. So, in. so the hamster might not make a book, but the diary no. might. The diary could, yeah. And and I've often thought I've collected everything, you know. Yes. Over the years, I've collected do not disturb signs and boarding cards, and I often think, uh, you know, like um, a Kindle type book where you could sort of refer to the collections and look at them and stuff like that mixed with my charts that I do and all that sort of stuff that might be a seller yes you know, what's, your fa- what's your favourite collection my favourite collection oh. oh just a second you've Does... got a second now I wrote them all down um, the other day because I was talking about them but I would say well I quite like my crisp wrappers to look back you know from the 80s I've right. got a good collection of those but I'd probably say Something like probably my badges. Right. I've, I've got fly swatch shoehorns, do not disturb signs, boarding cards, lanyards, tour itineraries, autographs, 
Polaroids from every single photo session I've ever done. Sick bags, crisp bags, Sick beer mats, bags. postcards, maps, political badges, comics, business cards, badges, and photo booth photos. That's a good collection. If anybody, I don't want anybody to beat me to this collection, but next time you pass a photo booth when you're in, like, um, Paragon, uh-huh. you know, going to get trained, have a look in there and see if there's anybody left the photos in there. That's a really good collection. Is it you then collect and, other people's photo booths? Yeah, I do. Pictures. And then try and write a song about that person. That's my challenge to people. That's what I quite often do. I'll just pick up something in a photo. But I don't hang around them until people <laughs> yeah. have completed yeah, yeah, their yeah. Go. Distract them. Things like that. Distract I, them. I enjoy. Yeah, distract them so they leave their photos. <laughs> It's, it's funny you say about the badges because I I've started um uh wearing some of my badges that I had from sort of the the punk and the the two tone era and things like that oh, wearing right, them and, great. and yeah. well yeah but I've worried because I'm of a certain age thinking you look a prat you're not a teenager anymore do you wear your badges I don't wear my badges but I think I don't think there's anything wrong would you wear it on a like a lapel yeah, or, or on a T-shirt. Yeah, I think that's good. Though. I think it, with people our age as well, if you see another bloke and he's wearing, a, say, a Buzzcocks badge or yeah. something like that, Got one of them. it starts the conversation go, going, doesn't it? You say, ah, oh, I saw the Buzzcocks in whenever. And, yeah, that that's what you need. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, I didn't yeah, know I you had a, a badge collection. I, I, I suspect mine's nowhere near the depth of yours, but... I've got a few. I'm looking at mine now. Uh, do you know what I've got here at the very top? The riding school motto, practice makes perfect. And it's an original cast condition North Country Brewery's riding bitter badge. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, it's, it's as fascinating as your reaction. <laughs> no, no, it is. No, it's good. That'll I've bring back memories for you. badge as well. You Sorry? Know, would you remember the Wide Awake Club? The Wide Awake Club? I'm vaguely. Yeah, I remember with Timmy Mallet and yes. um, Tommy Booth, was it? Yes. Yeah, they, they, I've got one of their badges. I, I kept them all. Did you get that at the time, then? Yeah, I got it at the time, yeah. Right. I make, listen to the noise. Yeah, your listeners all love this. This is my bag collection being rustled around. Badge collection. Oh. Lovely noise, eh? Mine wouldn't do that. I've got mine in an, uh, in an old tin somewhere. People uh, will be analysing this conversation now and think, listen to those geezers that going on about badges. I think you're going to get a lot of emails in about this, personally, badges, about yeah. people with their badge collections and where they keep them and what they like to do with them. Should you wear them? Should you keep them in the box? Yeah, yeah I think you'll get a lot of support for your <laughs> lapel wearing. I'm, 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 I'm going to go home and this afternoon and put a badge on my T-shirt. I don't know yeah, whether to go f- for the undertones or the skids or the, the, the beat badge or my buzz Go for the badge. skids. Yeah. Go for the skids. I love that's, them. That's, yeah. That's a good band. It is a good band. Paul, it's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you, and thank you very much for your time. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to to, 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 to Hull and Scunthorpe. We look forward to, to yeah, Scunthorpe. Great. And um, Steve Medcalf, who's a lifeboatman in Widensea, says any chance you can come and do a gig in Widensea at some point. So, I can try. I'll, I'll have to look at what sort of venues they've got. Fu- future like tour. Be- and and somebody asked, somebody else asked, um, have City of Culture been in touch in Hull for a big spectacular in 2017? Is anything going on there? They have been in touch and um, plans are afoot. I think I'm meeting somebody from them next uh, next week. Uh, yeah, oh, certainly over the next couple of weeks, I'm I'm meeting somebody to see if we can do something different. I, I don't want to just do a big gig. I think it would it needs something more. Interesting than that, I think. You know, I'd like to do something special. Like, well, like what sort of thing? I'm intrigued now. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've, 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 I've been. <laughs> I can't reveal it yet, but I've got a good idea of uh, of either maybe doing a, a, a song about Hull. You know, like a really long song, in, including all the areas and performing that, or or something like playing in people's houses. And then closing the street off and playing at the end of the street or something like that. Just something a bit different, you know, instead of playing a gig at wherever. You know, I, I'd, I'd rather do something that people will remember, you know, that's not something I haven't done before, you know. Yeah. Because it is a special year, you know, and it, we should be doing something more special than just seeing Paul Heaton live at, at wherever, you know. Well, we're chuffed you're going to be part of it. Paul, it's a real pleasure to yeah. talk to you. Thank you very much for your time. All the best with the new yeah, album yeah. and the yeah. tour. Uh, top man, Paul Heaton, uh, right. on the Burnsy Show this morning. Uh, the new album uh, is out soon. It's called Wis- Wisdom, Laughter and Lines. And Paul Heaton and Jackie Abbott are out touring. Uh, November uh, the 2nd, uh, they are at um, 
the Bass Hall in Scunthorpe. If you've never been to the Bass Hall, I suspect the gig sold out, um, but it's a fantastic venue. And they're playing a couple of nights next March as part of their 2016 spring tour at Hull City Hall. The tickets went on sale this morning. Uh, you'll have to be sharp because they will go. Hey, it's Paul Heaton and Jackie Abbott. And what a catalogue of songs, new and old, they have. This is DIY. DIY. 